How would you like to see your grandchildren anytime you wanted? One of the best reasons to become tech savvy is to stay connected. One of the easiest way to do that is with a program called Skype. It's a video chat program and it's totally and completely free to use. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to download and then use Skype to start making video chat calls, see your family whenever you want. Hi, and thanks for checking out my latest video on how to become a tech savvy senior. My name is Jim Costa. I'm a technology, photography, and video expert, and I'm here to share my knowledge with you. Check out my channel. It's filled with literally thousands of videos that I've created over the years. If you see anything that you like, go ahead and hit the like button on it, or comment, or share it on other social media if you want to do that. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can see my latest uploads anytime. I have new videos every week on Wednesdays. Remember to hit that little bell so that you're notified as soon as new videos are posted. I'll link below to other tutorials that I've created. Now, let's get started. If you're anything like me, you live in one part of the country. Well, my daughter lives a thousand miles away. My brother and sister live in central Florida. I have an aunt in a different part of Florida, another in Alabama, a cousin in Virginia, another in Connecticut. I have clients in California, Arizona, Washington, New York, and many more. It's hard to stay connected with everyone's busy lives. Until now, that is. To get started using Skype, go into your browser, into your web search, use whatever you like. I'll use Google and type in Skype download. I'm using a Mac, so I'll use the Skype download for Mac, but the instructions I'm using will work on either a Mac or PC. Go ahead and click on download Skype for either your Mac or your PC. Click this blue box here in the center that says get Skype for Mac or PC if that's what you have. You'll notice down below in the bottom corner of the screen after you click that the download will begin. It's going to take a couple of minutes and so we'll be right back once it's finished downloading. Once the download's complete double click on that box to open up the installation of Skype. I'll minimize the screen because I don't need the rest. This is the Skype icon and the actual program. And what this pop-up box is saying is that it wants you to drag Skype into the applications folder. Go to your Macintosh hard drive, open up the applications folder. Mine's alphabetical so it's right at the top. Drag Skype into the applications folder. Just click and hold it and drag it down and it'll download. It'll take just a minute to download. Once it's done, open up the applications folder and you'll see it down below. Scroll down to Skype. I have my folders arranged alphabetically so it's down near the bottom. Double click on the Skype icon to start the program. If this is making sense so far, let me know in the comments below. This pop-up box is asking you if you're sure you want to open Skype. Now I downloaded it from the Microsoft website so I know it's good. But the computer is checking to make sure that you know you want to open it because it could have a virus. I got it directly from Microsoft so I know it's safe. So go ahead and click open. Once Skype opens, you're going to have to set up your account. So click create account. Afterwards, you can click sign in. Go ahead and enter your phone number. You can use your actual phone or your cell phone number and click next when you're ready. This next screen is going to ask for your first and last name, so go ahead and enter that. Click next when you're ready. You have to tell what country you're from and your date of birth, so go ahead and enter that. Click next when you're ready. Now Skype will send you a text to verify your new account. Go ahead and enter the code that they text you if you use your cell phone. 
once you're signed into Skype, you can first choose your theme, which is the look of how the screen is. You can have a light background or a dark one, whatever you like better, or the text can be blue, colored, or black. So pick whatever one you like the best, and when you're ready, click the arrow to move on. Here, you can upload a profile picture right there in the center. Just click that gray circle and choose something from your computer if you want to. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to skip that step. Uh, but when you're ready, go ahead and click the blue circle for OK. This is a sound check screen. And what it's going to do is check your computer. So choose the built-in microphone under d default. And that blue bar below, that is a slider to adjust the sound. You can set it wherever you want, higher or lower for louder or softer. I'll keep it about there and click OK when you're ready. Now your computer is going to do a quick check of the built-in camera to make sure it's working. Go ahead and click OK when you're done. There's a tutorial next, which you can take if you'd like to learn about Skype or you can get started making calls right away. I'll show you how to do that now. You can go ahead and search for people or add a new conversation. Adding a new conversation means typing in the number or email of someone to call that you've never done. So you'll have to do that to start. I'm going to search for a friend and a client named George, whom I talk with regularly. And that's his information. Go ahead and click on that. If you want to go ahead and make a call, you can cl click on the dial pad button, which is that little phone icon above. Click that, click dial pad, and then actually type in the number. And then you can speak to them right away. I'm going to X out of this because I don't need that. Once you've got the person's contact information in, go ahead and click on the phone icon to make a call. That's an audio call, so you can just hear them. If you click on the camera icon, you can make a video call and actually see them. This is the group button. And what it allows you to do is enter multiple numbers so that you can call multiple people at the same time, such as all your children or all your grandchildren. You just have to enter all their information into the group. And then you'll speak to everyone at the same time. When you're ready to make a call, go ahead and click on the either video or phone icon, whatever you want. And they'll pop up. It, Skype will make the call and then it'll connect you. A video call looks just like this where you're in a little box in the corner and you can see full screen the other person. Skype has some interesting features. For example, this plus sign gives you more options and one of them is a share screen option. When you go ahead and click that, click on share screen and you'll actually be able to see the screen of the other person if they click it or they'll see your screen if you click it. And you can use it, George and I use it, I work for him. We collaborate on jobs all the time. So we share the screen and I'm able to see what he's looking at while he's, he's looking at what I'm seeing. And that's it. That's as easy, how easy it is to make a Skype call. If you like this video, please comment below and like or share. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to become a tech savvy senior. If you enjoyed this video, you can also find me outside of YouTube on my website, which is jamesvcosta.com or on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, just search for Jim Costa Films.